Max will be our winners final. Okay. Then we have Lex and Andre in our losers okay. quarters final, and then Problem versus Mapalapu. No, my Mapalapu didn't get move on. Why did, why did he get move on? We need production to change that. The report is scores wrong. I was like, Mapa Lipu's moving on fast. Oh, okay. okay. Damn. All right. You you lot with that <laughs> sympathetic towards Mapa Lapo for that uh, questionable performance. Production. Okay. Whatever. Oh my God. Wow. Amazing. That was fun. I have to say, that commentates on like that. that you don't see that every day. So I don't need to see that. Every day. <laughs> all right. I watch enough of this game as it is. I don't need to see that every day. Oh, anyway. Well. Ryu versus Guile. Uh, I want to look at this matchup a little bit more, only right. because obviously people have to do their research on Ryu now. Yes. But this is one of the matchups I feel as the damage is going off. Uh, this is the matchup where I do think Ryu does need the Dungeon Store if the Guile player keeps him in the neutral. If you were able to basically go nuts like that, yes. I think you're cool. Nice, beautiful flash kick. The articulation of how Lex plays Guile is. It's gorgeous sometimes. The way he just controls the momentum of his opponent. That is close to burn out. He's gonna force it. Yes, there we go. Wow. And he got the stand like kick into the flash kick, by the way. That's, that that that's is not easy. One. Yeah, that's the tricky one. I don't know if it's harder or pretty similar to how it was in SO5, but I, I just know it's not easy. Forward throw. Gonna try and be sneaky with it. Oh Gonna get the overhead. God. And this is beautiful, right? Sometimes I feel you don't need to necessarily go for the stun because the opponent knows I can get stunned at any given point. Let me focus mm. on the drive impact as we mentioned before. So you can work around that. Chip damage, plus frames, mm. overhead if you got one. Exactly. And there's, uh, there's plenty of stuff to work with there. Try to do a bait there with the Hashigeki. Again, like I said, I think Ryu does need the Denji Sword if you give him the chance. Other than that, He's going to drive rush forward soon. One of them was going to do it. Well, exactly that. You were four and that was going to kill as well. That is going to kill. I hate you, Max. I hate you. Time to do a reset. The reset. It just works out. And it's hard. There's a couple of things in this game where it's hard to tell if the reset's coming. Some players, only a handful of them, are starting to see the resets. But it's like, it's a drive rush cancel. Ah, oh, okay. He's, he's going to finish his combo, right? No need. I think it's hard to do. I think most people should just stand up during drive rush cancels. No one's going to do a low reset. It's always the overhead. I think usually, yeah, yeah, absolutely, you're right. Yeah. Nice DP right there. Good, good flash kick. And we've seen Lex do that a few times today, actually. The OD flash kick on his wake up. Just to kind of challenge the. Oh, that works. Yes, that does work. I keep forgetting that works. <laughs> I, I see it. I'm like, Roundhouse Super? Did, really? he drop the, did he drop the button? I was like, no. Come on now. Legitimately, that works. So. Blocked on E. Sure you can. Nice. Big chunk there. And we saw Andre actually have the first round in the first game as well. But Lex brought it back. Quick to adapt. Looking for something. Okay, parries. Away, yeah. And do you know You want to know something interesting I've seen as well? It's very difficult to kind of identify this too. When you go up against characters like this and you're perfect parrying the fireballs, you parry and then you've got to wait and block. Because mm. at some point they're going to drive rush forward or try and feint you to do something and just mm. see what happens afterwards. I'm trying to be a little bit more conscious of choice around the drive gauge and people not being like autopilot with a lot of the stuff they do. Because there are some things you can actually let go because it's not uh, it's not immediately detrimental to you. So. Yeah. Oh, we caught him in a back dash. Andre just a bit, a bit. <sighs> Bit. I to put the right Ancy or like uh, Ancy, isn't it? It's about the approach from Lex there. It wasn't quite ready for it. I'm questioning perhaps his choices in the heat of the moment. Oh, we got him. That's a Lex special. That's a habit the guard players have. I see it. Kappa do it as well. After throw tech, heavy kick into the C uh, CA or like the level three. Hmm. I'm surprised people don't micro walk back and let them. I think some people need to look at that situation a little yes. bit more. Yes, that might be a perfect there for Lex. Gorgeous. Rizzi's running away with it. He is running away with it. Andre's holding on in certain instances where he's got a round or two, right? Or he's got a round in both games, actually. But he's not able to... Oh, yes, he's got an Akuma as well. I didn't mention this. And he... Um, Could have fooled me. Yeah. <laughs> well, he actually recently did a tournament um, that I did, right? And it was called Battlegrounds. We did, Andre actually beat our IC ICD. Okay. I wouldn't compare ICD to Lex, to be honest. But I think, uh, they're both strong guys, but Lex has got one level above, I feel. Well, I mean, Lex has been. I really want to see ISTD travel internationally for the yes, game. Yes, I do. Le as well. Lex has been doing so, that. So exactly. That is, and that's that would where be a determining the factor. Yeah, exactly. But Andre definitely feels like Akuma's a good shot. He's definitely doing some work with Akuma. And he's got less health to work with now as well. Exactly. Damage output pretty similar, less health to work with. 
and if you're low on dry gauge, and because it's a Shoto, if you're following the same philosophy, you're going to be spending dry gauge the same way because it's a similar archetype. Right? Mm -hmm. so, just maybe a couple of more EX moves here and there. So. Oh, nice low, and that That's is definitely going to be, be not, not quite. quite enough. I don't even hit the burn out. If anything, you probably just want to spend in super. Let's conserve it, and you know, in an instance where I can get the next interaction where I can take the round just like that. He's got a demon flip. He has to. He's got to try and demon flip at some point. I think he's too ground based. As, as weird as that sounds. <gasps> okay. Ah, yeah, yeah, that's really going to hurt right now. Oh, he's going to build a level three. Yes, he will. And he's actually going to drive rush cancel build. Yeah, he's done. Wrap it up, my guy. He's done. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. No, stop. Oh, it. no, he's dead. Of course he is. Come on now. Oh, that whole God. combo from and there? He's... Oh, he's done. Brother, you're done. Holding his hands in hope. Yes, and there we go. As said by Jammers. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. wait. Lex, the combo wasn't that big. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Lex, Lex, the combo was that big. <laughs> Oh my god. So uh, hey, if, that, if, that, if that headset is broken, I'm gonna have to call up Cloud9 real quick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but I got nothing uh, but love for Lex. Nah, Lex played amazing there. Good start. So, good start uh, from Andre actually. He had, a, he had an exceptional first round. I don't think he won a round after that first round. No, he didn't. Um, no, he did win in the second game. But in the third game, when Akuma came along, he didn't win a round. Um, cool. The thing is, right, I think maybe just hold it out with you. If anything, okay, Kuma might be in choice. Mm. Maybe from the get go, I think at that point you got a couple, you got around, you just weren't able to close it out against Lex. Um, Lex is just better at holding the position. He's comfortable as well. Yeah, That's another thing. Uh, exactly. Maybe if you're going to do this, put Akuma first and then bring things back to Ryu because Ryu's the comfort uh, comfortability factor. Yeah, but I would also say as well, I think you'd need to have a discussion with him about who do you. Who do you think's better against Guile for? Hmm. Because I, I don't know if he's stuck between two well, minds about. He actually played a coup mind that says this when they get ICD and right. actually played particularly very well. Okay. Um, quite confidently as well. And I feel like I think because Rio is his go-to, is his is his main character, right? But Akuma is that back pocket kind of pick. But actually, mm. if he's working for you, why mix it up? Because you don't